Hello humans! I'm back from a lovely winter break in the mountains where I have been uh, doing Norwegian things in very Norwegian settings in uh, the Fylke of Telemark where we rented a cabin by the river seeing as our cabin <laughs> is just a summer house by the lake you can't be there in winter we found one where you can and doing Norwegian things like you know rolling in the snow and other ice theme challenges. <laughs> My husband here is being super supportive as I plan to throw myself in the icy water. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, I'm still feeling the after effects of that double COVID infection that I had going on over Christmas and that I talked about in a previous video. So I'm really working hard to get my strength and stamina back and I'm using my okay. old method, the hack your health method, where I'm starting with my energy, building up my nervous system, then my smaller muscles, my larger muscles, in order to get strong and fit and functional fast. I find that rebuilding strength is actually much easier fa and faster when you do things that are uh, practical and uh, you need to, to use both nervous system strength and stamina to do. So things like yeah, chopping wood and carrying wood and also, of course, the, the lovely uh, activity of shoveling snow is uh, something I do both for exercise and for fun when I can. And uh, this way it's useful exercise and uh, I'm using all the muscles of the body to do something useful. When I'm strong enough, I can then start uh, skiing, like I did last week. I mean, I'm really slow. I'm no you hug uh, And um, having fun in the snow, playing in the snow. Playing also with this uh, new craze I've got going on, which is ice bathing. Totally trying to convince myself here that this is a good idea. It feels great afterwards, is what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, it's a near-death experience, but it's also a total reset of your entire body and mind. Uh, plunging into ice water, I've found, wow, yeah, if, if you need an energy reset, this is a great one. So that was uh, painful and uh, okay. wonderful, at least when I could immediately lower myself into this uh, wood-heated uh, outdoor pool, which felt pretty amazing. Then our holiday got a bit more serious than expected. We visited Hedal Stave Church from the 13th uh, century, uh, the day on the day that Putin and uh, Russian armies invaded Ukraine and the news cycle from there on has been horrifying as you all know and uh, I call this a peace dance and I promise to get back to people and explain more about the connection between working with your health and working for peace and how working on your health is actually maybe the best way you can work to change the world. I know that might not sound logic and in order to explain it I'm going to um, be talking a little bit in this video about a whole new understanding of health. So as you know I've been working on my health for almost 30 years now and uh, the method I've come down to, I call it, I'm hacking my health, I call it hack your health. And in order to do that, in order to hack my health and learn to walk again and all these things, I had to look at the concept of health from an uh, entirely new angle. 
when your body is causing you pain and problems you really need to think about what is your body what are what is the problem with your body in the current medical paradigm uh, we are told that the body is a collection of cells ordered according to a genetic code that's running like software inside each cell these cells are communicating through chemical interaction you have messages that are being sent from the brain to the body through the nervous system and given energy through circulation of blood breaking the body down into smaller and smaller pieces and trying to find out what is wrong and then using surgery or chemicals to fix whatever one sees as wrong that is the essence of western medicine today this is a kind of reductionist understanding of health and it's great for repairing broken bones and in can in many places it can alter chemistry to balance issues like hormonal imbalances you know uh, diabetes blood sugar lipid uh, imbalance but it doesn't work well for complex chronic health issues i mean we all know the body has its own doctors the body can heal itself from almost any damage imperfect cells are broken down and removed every day nerves and muscles can regrow this process follows some kind of inner intelligence that is not controlled by our minds how then can we access this intelligence to help our bodies heal i think we need to make a quantum leap we need to leap out of the current medical paradigm and see our bodies from a whole new angle instead of fighting disease we want to help our bodies heal we want to get into the mindset where we are not looking at each symptom separately but instead we're understanding the whole human being and we start building health working from the inside out in order to do this you're going to need to make a shift in understanding you have to make that leap the one that western medicine hasn't managed to do yet it's a leap already that's been made in quantum physics but this knowledge has not been successfully applied to the human body yet at the most basic level you need to understand that everything is energy your body is made of something like 3 trillion cells each cell is made of something like 100 trillion atoms each atom is mostly space but it contains a center made of protons and neutrons and has electrons swirling around it if you break down even those neutrons and electrons they consist of something we call quarks and what are quarks according to quantum theory at the smallest level matter is made of particles or waves breaking the body down like this can make you dizzy but at the same time it can help you understand how to help the body heal if you accept the logic that your whole body consists of cells atoms which are in the end in quantum reality pure energy then you can affect your body working from the inside out after all your body cells are changing every day they're constantly repairing rebuilding and being exchanged because the energy in your body follows a system this is a system that hasn't been measured and explained scientifically in western medicine yet but all the ancient healing methods have described what it looks like and how it functions in chinese medicine it's called qi and in vedic philosophy it's called prana these terms are usually translated to life force life force is the truest currency of yeah everything it's what we all long for it's all we all strive for you can eat you can train you can buy all kinds of therapies uh, to try to get your life force up and uh, in reality it's uh, it's actually really really simple so uh, i've found that the body consists of four different energies and when you balance these and connect it to something bigger you can manage to increase your life force and thus create optimal healing conditions here i'm out and about with my family it's um, joy is on the agenda <laughs> great way to increase the life force also having uh, learning those uh, essential norwegian uh, skills like uh, cross-country skiing when i connect to this inner uh, force i call it soul power that's what it feels like to me 
when I'm in contact with my soul power and I move, it looks like dancing, but what I'm really doing, it's almost some kind of surgery where I am using physical movements to change the energy in my energy field and through that changing things that are happening in my body. This was an excellent place to do that kind of move and dance. And this is another way to reset your energy. Ice bathing, hot pool bathing, of course, lounging by a beautiful river. Wow, that's quite a comfortable way to reset your energy. I uh, also use fun and joy and, and laughter, as I've <laughs> talked about before. And, uh, the health I can to, to have fun, and having fun gives me more energy. This is a, <laughs> a really interesting way of getting around the Norwegian Spotic Ice Kicker uh, on metal, metal frame. Need some balance to do that, so it wasn't something I could have done a couple weeks ago, but I'm stronger now. And talking about stronger, let's uh, look at the whole peace war thing. Because everything is energy and we are all connected. Um, yeah, you call it spiritual if you want to. It's not really spiritual. It's just we're living in this kind of energy soup where everything is connected. And something that happens in one part of the world affects everything and everybody. We have um, a kind of global consciousness, you might call it. And now that global consciousness is very specific, seeing as we have internet where we can share thoughts and ideas I instantly. But at the more subtle level, at this uh, energy level, things are being shared uh, constantly. So a soul is like water. If we if we imagine the human soul, it's like water and we are all just sort of drops in the ocean. And whatever happens to the water on one side of the lake will spread to the whole lake. So if working on your health and healing your body, you're changing your part of that energy soup or the lake, you're cleansing your bubble in a way. And then you're spreading cleansed energy. I think I'll wrap it up uh, for this week. And uh, I hope that was an interesting introduction into understanding the connection between health and things that are going on in the world, also politically, because everything is connected. So see you soon. Holly.